Tyler Lamb played great defense today on Brown. Brown is their leading scorer, a very good player. Uh, Tyler Lamb deserves a lot of credit for the amount of minutes he played. He had six assists, 13 points. This is one of his best games as a Bruin because it was an all-around game. He guarded the other team's best player, played very well on offense, and especially making some really nice passes. Hi, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here with UCLA basketball player Tyler Lamb. How does going to high school at Modern Day, relatively close to UCLA, help you transition to college? Well, you know, Modern Day is a great program. You know, there's great coaches there, and Coach McKnight and, and Coach Quinn. Um, you know, they really prepare you for college, and they helped me a lot um, defense uh, with my defensive principles and even just learning just learning how to play the game, you know, come off screens and reading your defender. Um, that, that program really helped me. What led you to choose UCLA over all the other colleges? Well, UCLA has always been my dream school. You know, being a California kid, I grew up watching them, and um, I was just, I've always wanted to be there. And so when they started recruiting me, uh, it, was, it was really no, no choice. I was just, I was ready to commit, and I committed early. How has playing in all 34 games last season helped you, helped to prepare you to take on a bigger role this season? Well, you know, last last season I made a I'm freshman year. I mean, you make a lot of freshman mistakes, but I, I had great teammates. You know, uh, Malcolm Lee, who's in the NBA right now, he kind of he took me under his wing, and um, he he showed me the ropes. And you know, he just kept talking to me, and that, and that's that's how we that's that's how it is over here. You know, like it's a family, and not just I, that's how I am with Norman now. But um, you know, it definitely helps because now I'm playing a lot of minutes, and uh, I just just go out there and let the game flow. UCLA's won 11 championships. How do you plan to get them back to that national level? Well, we keep coming out here and playing like this. I think I think the sky is the limit for this team. You know, we're, uh, I think uh, you know everybody on this team wants wants to win, and if we keep working hard, I think we'll get there. On your jersey, you have the John Wooden patch. Mm -hmm. how, how does he still affect the basketball program, even though he's passed on? Coach Wooden is is the best coach, I think, in sports history. You know, he, there's everybody uh, prides people on if they win or lose, and and he's definitely won more than a lot of people, more than everybody. I'm pretty sure, you know. And um, he he brought he made UCLA what it is. He made UCLA a story program. So I mean, every every day we walk on campus, you know, you just kind of you just kind of feel it, and and you know we go we practice, and we still have his chalkboard up in our gym where we practice, and you know he's just he affects all of us. He affects all of us. How do you balance being a student and an athlete at the same time? It's tough, but our school does a good job of, you know, getting us tutors and we have study hall and our, our players are, my teammates are responsible, so they, we have time to do our work and we do our work and basketball comes second behind school. What would be your advice to any high school athlete trying to make a college decision or just growing up? My advice to a high school athlete would be keep working hard, you know, because it's nothing, nothing really prepares you for college. You know, you're going to learn a lot when you get to college, but you need to keep working hard and keep your grades up because without your grades, you're not going anywhere. So uh, I was really pleased, you know, the whole Brown of two points at halftime. I thought Tyler Lamb did a tremendous, awesome job today. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm saying that uh, on Tyler, he scored one basket, really, really took the challenge on. And today he came in and said, this was probably your best game as a Bruin. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, you know, this was a hard fought game. Um, my teammates definitely, they, they helped me out a lot by giving me the ball when I was open and I was able to just knock down shots. You know, this was definitely a, a, a team win and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to have no numbers without my teammates. Um, Colin Brown, you know, I've known him ever since I was like in middle school. We, we actually played on the same uh, AAU team a couple of times. So um, I, I, I've known his, I've known what he's capable of and he, he's a very good player. You know, Coach, Coach Allen stressed it on me that I was going to have to, I was going to have to stop him. And, um, and I tried, I tried my best and my teammates helped me when, when I needed help. And that, that was big for us because, um, you know, he's like he's averaging 15 a game, I think. And um, without those points, you know, 
it was, it was, it was easy for us. Tyler, I think you guys had four or five alley-oops today. Just seemed a little more active than usual. What was leading to that kind of stuff? Um, I don't know. I think defense is stops. You know, whenever whenever we're getting stops on defense, it, it definitely is a momentum booster. And, um, you know, it gets everybody up more when you're just going down and stopping teams, and then you come down and score, and then everything just starts snowballing, it seems like, and everything's just working, and everything's flowing. And th uh, that, that's what I think it was, you know. Okay, thank you for your time. Good luck the rest man. of the season. Appreciate Thanks. It. Appreciate it. This is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey, kids, let's talk sports.